Yeah, thanks so much for asking. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. I did a story time a long time ago, but I think it's time for another one. Um, but back in, I think it was, what, 2007 now? Um, I went on a girls' trip with a few friends to Jamaica. Uh, we just went to go have fun, get away, and I ended up having a little bit too much fun. I ended up having a one-night stand with somebody who worked at the resort, um, and obviously didn't use protection, came home, and ended up getting really, really sick about a week after I got home. I was in and out of the hospital. They had a hard time. So basically, she had HIV because of playing around in Jamaica. But a lot of these Western women are accusing the passport bros um, traveling to another country for X to risen. Right, but they awfully quiet about stuff like this. Interesting. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. I am going to be reacting to this clip by Joanne. And apparently, I don't know how she came across this. I was trying to find the original myself. But very, very, very interesting, man. And it's funny because they shame Pat. They, well, here, this is what they try to do. They try to lump guys that go overseas just for just to get it in. They try to lump those guys in with passport bros. And that is so far from the truth. And I think the real reason why they do that is because they don't have any kind of any kind of talk, any kind of talking points that they can stand on. So what they do is they try to use that to try to lift themselves up on some kind of moral high ground. Meanwhile, they been doing this. These girls trips to Jamaica ain't nothing new. Yo, when I was on my way to Columbia back in February, I bullshit you not, bro. It was a group of white women headed to Montego Bay, man. You can't make this up, bro. Let's keep it moving. We we are all aware about this Jamaican getaways, right? I've seen some videos of American girls doing the thing on the raft on the river with the locals there without protection as well. There was this one video. That's why my name on here is just, are, are you not even wondering why I, where I got this name, the username that I'm using here on TikTok right now? Oh, and if you don't know, I will be more happy to show you. Check this out. It's gotten so bad with American women going to Jamaica on these river rafting sex tours, the Jamaican government had to shut it down. Check it out. So you mean to tell me these rafting tours are actually illegal down there? That's why they shut it down. Bruh. But the men that are y'all, the men that y'all are claiming to be passport bros, but they're really not. Even if they were doing it, they're actually going to countries where it's legal at. You stupid. You can't make this shit up. Y'all were doing, y'all are going to a country where it's illegal at. Man, I, dude, I'm, I'm tired. And it'll probably be somebody in the comments that'll try to correct me and say, no, that's not true. Explain to me why is the government shutting it down and why in the video did it say it's illegal down there? All right, crazy, bro. Yeah, shout out to Obsidian for sending me that. Uh, I also saw the uncensored version on Twitter. 
it, it amazes me the things you can get away with posting on Twitter nowadays. But yeah, Obsidian sent me that his his people sent me that his self and not not even mention the sip the sip and paint parties. Uh yeah, it's some it's sipping and paint it, it's a lot more than sipping and painting going on in them parties. Let's just say that. Let's keep it moving. If you have not seen that video, you should watch it. So for women, it is okay to play around in another country, but if it's gonna be the men, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be sex to risen. The hypocrisy is screaming like, it's over 9,000. I mean, is this women empowerment for, for them? Empowering, empowering, prostitution. Yeah, it's a way for them to feel like they have some kind of control. See, Joanne, here, here's what you got to understand about women in the United States. They think that they're oppressed because of the patriarchy. So what you see in the in the West is women behaving in a way. It's almost like a form of rebellion. They kind of look at it as, well you know because that this is one of the reasons why anything that is traditional is seen as bad in their eyes because they want to they want what they what they want to do is they want to translate it to slavery and women back in the 50s and 60s you know they just stayed home and they were unhappy were there unhappy times sure but as a country, our marriage rate was a lot higher back then also. Fast forward to what it is now, you got women over here being promiscuous and what's the word? And they're camouflaging it as empowerment. When in reality, all they did was give all the power to the same men that they're trying to emulate behavior like. The women in the West, all they've done is become the men. All they've done is become the top 10 percent of men that they desire they're moving around like like the small percentage of men that can sleep around with a lot of like with a lot of women most men in the united states are not sleeping with a lot of women they just say that to continue to push this victimhood narrative that they do in the states because reality is they want to screw around in their best years and then they want to wait till later on to try to shack up with somebody and that's the reason why they're so upset at this passport bro movement because those are all those are pretty much all their plan b's leaving the country let's keep it moving and sex reason in other countries this what they call women empowerment this is trash let me be serious right now for almost three months of me being active here on TikTok again. Because I just got back here almost three months ago. When I tell you that I've seen and heard everything, trust me, I'm not biasing anyone. I saw how those American black women laughed when a black man got unalived by the police. I've seen American black women promoting of black babies. Black male babies to be specific, but let's keep it moving. That really made me sad. I made a video about that. I have seen white women, you know, talking ish about the passport bros as well. There are just a lot of American women who are hurt and jaded. And this is their outlet bashing their men. We never did this to our men. Never. It's sad. Right, and they wonder why these men are leaving in droves to go to the Philippines. See, this is what I don't understand about American women. It's it's just puzzling that these women can behave the way they do and expect men to just stay and put up with it. How dare you? I think that is the biggest mystery with me when it comes to American women. Why should men accept this kind of behavior? Why should men marry and start families with women 
who behave and think this way. Because me personally, I don't see anything positive about it. I'm like, and this hypocrisy is extremely bad. Like, I'm, this, is a, this is an extremely bad look. You got a woman on TikTok confessing the coming back with HIV from Jamaica just for having fun. She belongs to the streets. And women aren't, and those same women that are shaming passport bros don't got one word to say about it. But when a guy want to go overseas to actually start a family, he's getting shit on. That does not add up to me. So we're not going to shame the girl that went on a girl's trip for having, that went on a girl's trip in Jamaica, came back with HIV because she had unprotected sex with some random dude. She belongs to the streets. But God, we're not going to hold her accountable, you know, protect her sisterhood. But this guy that wants to go over here and start a and, and want to start his own family and potentially maybe start a business and find a wife. Oh, no, we're shaming him. What is that? How does that make any sense? <laughs> Bro, you really can't make this shit up. And women expect men to pick from women who think like that. Oh, hell no. Mind blowing, bro. Let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. Helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. To the next video, y'all. Deuces.